Hello again everyone, I have a very simple problem to do today because I want to show you something about Java Scanner which I forgot to mention in the previous videos. I actually want to show you a very common mistake involving the scanner class and this is a mistake that I still do from time to time when I'm reading the input and I thought I'll mention it now so that if you happen to do the same thing you'll know what's going on. And rather than just telling you what the mistake is, I'm actually going to show it to you by doing the problem in quick estimates. This is one of those problems where you can completely ignore the description because the input output tells you exactly what you need to do. And it's a very simple problem, only 1.4 difficulty. Basically what you have to do is you're given a bunch of integers and you have to work out how many digits are in each integers. So uh, as you can see in the first sample input here, you are given five integers. The first number will tell you how many integers you're going to get and you see how the app would correspond to the length of each integer, right? So that's all the problem is, very simple. Okay, let's start the code. I'm going to read the first integer into the variable n, and that will tell me how many more integers I'm gonna be getting. So let's have a for loop to n. So I guess now I'm going to be reading n integers, one by one, so I'll have this. And now what? Well, I guess this is a bit annoying because now you have to write some sort of for loop to work out how many digits are in each integer, right? You have to do something like keep on divided by 10. Um, I don't want to do that because I think, well, you can do this uh, a lot easier if you just read the whole line as a string. And we learn how to do that in the previous video, uh, well, I'm just going to use max line, okay? Because once I know, um, sorry, once I get the string, all I have to do is just output the length of the string, and I do that by doing length, uh, well, x dot length. So that's done. That's all there is to the code. That's all I need to do. So let's give it a try. Um, Let's clear that up. Let's try to input the uh, second sample input. So three. Um, well, do you notice that there's an output right away there? And I'm going to type zero. That's one, that's good. Then I'm going to type 10 and the program finishes. So, I mean, it's, it's stopped. I can't even input the last one. So the output is actually zero, one, two, not one, two, three. Um, let's try the first sample input. I'm just going to copy and paste it this time. So copy that, paste it. The input I get is, oh, sorry, the output I get is actually 03141. So no five here. Uh, and the program stops. So what's going on here? Now, there is actually another command that you can use here um, called next, which will simply just grab the next string. Now the difference is with next line you're going to be grabbing a whole line whereas in with next you're just going to be grabbing the next string. Um, why is that different? Well if you have a line with two strings and it's separated by a white space, so if, for example if I have a b c d e f like that and then you call uh, dot next on it, it will only grab the first string which is a b c it will uh, not grab the F, whereas the next line will grab everything until you press enter. Okay, so that's the main difference. Now, if I run it, um, if I write this code using dot next and run it, let's copy, well, let's paste that again. This time I get three, one, four, one. Hmm. It's still waiting for something, so I guess... Did I press enter? Okay, I forgot to press enter. Okay, there you go. So, uh, let me do it one more time. Control paste and then enter. Uh, you see 31415. I just never finished that with an enter. Okay, so this is working. Funny that. Um, I mean, when I read one string at a time, it works, but when I try to read the line, uh, something weird happen, as in... Uh, let's run this with just one. So so I press one, oh, sorry, I put in one, press enter, and I get zero. I mean, the program stopped right away. So it's actually running this system out print line. 
uh, line here. It's actually running line 12 at that point with zero. So it's like this one is reading nothing. Okay, so maybe it's easier to see what's going on using the command line. Um, so I have a code here that will read in three strings using dot next, and then I just put them out in the end. So um, I'm going to give it this input. It has exactly three lines, one, two, three. Um, so I'm going to compile that, run it, and it works, one, two, and three. Now, if I now change um, that line from dot next into next line, do it twice, doesn't really matter. Uh, do the same thing again. See how I'm still printing out three lines, but I'm printing out one followed by nothing, followed by two. So something weird is going on here, and this is the mistake that people often do, and this is what I want you, I'm oh, sorry, this is what I want to explain to you uh, today. Let's go back to the program. This is the input that we gave to the program earlier, the number five followed by five integers. When we made the program read one int followed by five dot next, it worked fine. It just fails when we replace the dot next with dot next line. And the reason why our program fail is because of how next line works. You see, when you give it an input like this, there are some hidden characters that you cannot see, namely the new line character, which I represent using the arrows here. So these arrows are new lines that you have to send to computer to make it output a new line. Now, both dot next and dot next line read string, except as I mentioned earlier, next line will read until it encounters a new line character. Next will just read until it encounters a delimiter, which can be space or a new line character. But there is one slight difference. With next, Java will only read up to the new line and leave the new line character. It will not read it in a, in a way. Uh, next line will also read up to the new line but it will then take the character. The difference here is that, um, well, what happens when you tell scanner to read another input after a next and after a next line? If you use next, then the next input read will be the new line character that you have here. If you use next line, then the next input read will be the next line because we've taken away that new line character from the first line. So if you go back to the other example, does it make sense now why we have this empty space in the middle? We are using next followed by a next line. The string one will go into A. That will work as intended. However, because we are using dot next, we left a new line character in the input just after the, uh, just after the string one. There's a new line character there. And we didn't take it. So when we read in B, what does next line do? Next line will read and uh, will read a string until it hits a new line character, and well, the first character it sees is the new line character at the end of uh, the first line, so it's just going to read in. Um, it's just going to read an empty string. Hopefully that makes sense. So all the next calls work like this: be that next int, next float, and so on, which means that you have to be careful when you're using a dot next followed by a dot next line. It doesn't mean that you can't use them together. It just means that if you want to use them together, you have to remember to grab the extra new line character after a um, dot next call. So how do we fix this code? Well, like before, you can use dot next because uh, if you use dot next there, it's going to ignore that new line character. But if you still want to use dot next line, well, you have to grab that new line character. And one way to do it is by saying, in dot next line. So we're telling Java to grab the next line, like grab a string uh, until you see a new line character. Again, the first character it sees is the new line character. So it's just going to grab an empty string, and then that's it. So right now, uh, if you like the pointer, well, Java will read next from the next line because it, that um, new line character is gone now. So let's give this a try. I'm going to run it. Um, let's get the input. Make sure I press enter and three one four one five. 
All right, I'm not going to bother submitting this. Well, I did I did early anyway, uh, but um, it's just, the focus of this video is not actually the problem. It's just me telling you um, this thing about um, next and next line if you want to use them together. All right, I hope that makes sense and I hope you can avoid this kind of problem because it's annoying when you see this and you have no idea what's going on and hopefully now you do. All right, thanks very much.